and never, you'll never give up on God's plan. Amen. You know, even if you don't understand where you're at. Amen. You know, a lot of times things just seem like it's in a disarray in our lives. But never give up on God's plan. Amen. The Bible says that there's a, everything in life, there's a purpose. And that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. I want you to understand there's a lot involved in that loving God. It isn't saying, I love you, Lord, and going out and doing your own thing. You know, that's not how it is. You know, and I, and I, I understand, you know, some of you have addictions and stuff you have trouble getting rid of. And I don't condemn you for that. But work on it. Don't quit. Amen. Amen. You know, God's the deliverer. Yes, he can he deliver. Thank you, Jesus. He's the one that can set you free from whatever that addiction is. Yes. And I know, you know, instantly people will say, oh, he's talking about smoking. No. I'll tell you something. And I keep looking at statistics all the time. They really bother me that 50, 60, and 70 percent of preachers go on the internet on Saturday night and look at pornography before they go to church and preach on Sunday morning. Come on. And they preach against all the addictions. You know, they talk about the things you can see, but you know what's going on in their private life. Come on. Come on. You know, I don't, I don't understand. You know where they're coming from and what they're doing in their life. But I know it brings destruction. Yes. And I know it's only God's grace and God's love and God's mercy that makes a difference whether we make it or don't make it. Amen. To know that that is going to be what God wants to do in your life this morning. Just reach out and let Him touch you. Thank you. 